Sea of Thieves is one of those games where you're supposed to play with your friends. It's the way that the game is set out and being made to promote larger crews. So when you get onto the game and your friends are not able to join you, what should you do? Play something else? Well, in my case, no. I go onto a sloop and I will go solo slooping. Even if I want to be a reaper, because you've got no one to blame but yourself if things go wrong. But if things go your way and you actually win the naval battles, I think it makes the victory taste all the sweeter. Hello you lovely lot, welcome back to a brand new video, my name is Gamester, thank you for joining me. Now we all know Sea of Thieves can be a dark and foreboding place, and with all the toxic players it can be a struggle to play, but when a new day dawns, new opportunities come along with it. And if you want to try and get better, there is one surefire way of doing exactly that solo slooping because when you solo sloop you have to do everything you have to do the sails the angling of the sails you have to shoot the cannons you have to repair the boat everything is down to you so i think you can class it as high risk high reward so today I'm going to show you exactly what happened to me the last couple of times I went solo slooping. Once while I was streaming and the other time while I wasn't. Hopefully you will enjoy and if you do then the best way you can see more content like this is by hitting the subscribe button and dinging that bell to stay notified because I upload on YouTube regularly. And if you want to check out my Twitch or any of my other socials, you could do so just by checking the description down below. All the information you need is right there. And also, just as a heads up, the last couple of things I wanted to mention before we crack on with today's video... The next set of Twitch drops for Sea of Thieves are going to be starting on April 22nd and running for 5 days. On each of these days, if you go and check out your favourite Twitch streamer that plays Sea of Thieves, you can enable the drop. All you have to do is watch them for 20 minutes before you can claim it. For me, it's going to be Fuzzy Bond because, well... I just love watching Fuzzy Bond play Sea of Thieves. For you, it could be any other partner that you see playing Sea of Thieves. So go and check them out. Also, I will be streaming Sea of Thieves around 2pm GMT tomorrow with this guy, TG Taylor. He's a pretty new player when it comes to Sea of Thieves. So I'm going to be helping him out. If you want a giggle and a laugh, then why don't you come and join us? Follow the link in the description down below if you're interested. But without further ado, let's crack on with today's video. Now as you've seen with the gameplay that's been running in the background, I was at the sea fort trying to level up my reaper's flag. And I saw a ship at a nearby island, but it wasn't coming towards me, so I didn't pay that much attention. Until it decided to sneak up to me, with a sneak attack in mind. And I'm a reaper. I might be solo slooping, but you know I can't let that stand. So I took a few shots at them from the cannon on the sea forts, getting accommodation along the way. But when I actually put in as much damage as I did, and then circled around the fort to try and sink them, I didn't understand where they disappeared to. Well... It appears I already sank them, and because of that, all I had to do was pick up the loot. And yes, before you say it, I had a brain fart, okay? I thought the mermaid was one of them. It wasn't, but what it did confirm to me is one of them was nearby. However, he wasn't in the water, 
he was just near. So I continued to collect the loot and he showed himself eventually. Yep, that's right, the cheeky bastard was trying to use the tactic I used on them against me. Well, I couldn't have that, but one thing I needed to do straight away is put some distance between me and that cannon. But it was only when I did that that I noticed something on the horizon. So it would seem whilst one of them was trying to take pot shots at me from the sea fort, the other one had grabbed the ship and was coming back for another attempt. So it was just a case of waiting till he got close, dropping my sails, and then watch him charge right towards me, giving me the easiest shots that I needed to bring down their mast. Again. But I am a reaper. This is not my first rodeo, and I knew exactly what to do. It didn't end well for them. Let's just put it that way. Now as you can probably tell, at this point, I was just basically playing with my food. So after I decided to finish them off, I anchored them, set them ablaze and let them burn while I put in a few extra shots. At least these two had the foresight after the second time of sinking to give it up as a bad job. However, the guy in my next gameplay wasn't like that. He was more, how shall we put it, tenacious. Oh yeah, that's coming. Now I later found out that this guy was just a chancer. A new player that wanted to get into some naval battles. And he just kept coming back. No matter how many times I sank him. But at least it made for good gameplay. I've got to give this guy credit though because he was a very new player and he was still trying to take out a reaper. Well, credit where credit's due. The first time that I took him out was a simple case of well, sailing by an active fort, then making sure he couldn't go anywhere by dropping his mast, and then let the fort do the rest. Oh, it's sunk. The second attempt that the guy made was right after I took out a skelly ship. 
I saw him on the horizon coming back for another go. Is that the same guy? I think it might be. I think that might be the same guy. It is. He's ready for round two. GG mate, but are you going to keep trying? He's managing to keep it on... Right, up. For longer than I expected. Nice try, dude. Nice try. There was a keg there as well, so he might have been trying to keg me, but... There he is. In the end, the guy came back again and got sunk again. But I'm trying to keep this video as short as possible. So I'm going to leave that one off the end. What I will do though, is show you how the stream ended. Because at the end of every stream, I tend to try and go and give all my supplies to another ship. And when I try to do that this time, well, you're about to see what happened. But if you like this content and you would like to see more, then you know what to do. Hit the subscribe button and ding that bell. Until next time, my friends, I'm going to bid you all a fond farewell. Say thank you for watching, and I will see you lovely lot in the next one. Hello, guys. I'm signing out. Do you want my supplies? I'm signing out, mate. I've anchored. Come and grab what you need. They're already in. Hello. There you go. <laughs> He's checking to see what I've got. Mate, can you hear me? I'm signing out. All my supplies are in these crates here. They're all in here. I'm not going to fight you, dude. Take them. Why? I'm signing out anyway, so it doesn't really matter to me, pal. Really? You're just going to be toxic for the hell of being toxic?
That was for killing me. Now I can sign out in peace. Don't be toxic, dude. Be better. <laughs>